कॉग्नेटिव इंफॉर्मेशन प्रोसेसिंग मॉडल सी आई पी ऑफ लर्निंग इंफॉर्मेशन थ्योरिस्ट अप्रोच लर्निंग प्राइमरीली थ्रू अ स्टडी ऑफ मेमरी द फॉलोइंग कॉग्नेटिव इंफॉर्मेशन प्रोसेसिंग मॉडल सी आई पी ऑफ लर्निंग प्रेजेंट्स अ वेल स्टैब्लिश पैराडाइम ऑफ कॉग्नेटिव बिहेवियरल साइकोलॉजी द मॉडल आर्टिकुलेट्स द लिमिटेड कैपेसिटी ऑफ वर्किंग मेमरी वर्किंग मेमरी इज टास्ट विद द बर्डन ऑफ प्रोसेसिंग इनकमिंग इंफॉर्मेशन ट्रांसफरिंग इंफॉर्मेशन टू लॉन्ग टर्म मेमरी एंड रिट्रीवल ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम लॉन्ग टर्म मेमरी द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ कॉग्नेटिव लोड दैट इज द अमाउंट ऑफ वर्क इम्पोज ऑन वर्किंग मेमरी बाय अ लर्निंग टास्क इज बेस्ड ऑन ऑब्जर्वेशन ऑफ द फंक्शन ऑफ वर्किंग मेमरी इंफॉर्मेशन प्रोसेसिंग in memory can be viewed from a computer model perspective like the computer the human mind takes in information performs operations on it to change its form and content stores the information retrieves it when needed and generates responses to it processing involves encoding that is gathering and representing information storage includes holding information and retrieval that is getting the information when needed the entire system is guided by a control process that determines how and when information will flow through the system some theorists suggest that the operation of the brain resembles a large number of computers all operating at the same time in parallel development of memory and information processing as previously stated cognition is the encoding structuring storing retrieving using or otherwise learning knowledge there are important developmental aspects for each of these activities from an information processing perspective some of the most important are number 1 brain changes brought about by biological maturation or experience number 2 increased processing capacity speed and efficiency as a result of both maturation and knowledge development number 3 modifications of connections in a neural network number 4 new emergent concepts arising from repeated self organization as a result of adapting to the demands of a changing environment and number 5 increased capacity for problem solving and meta cognition let's discuss encoding encoding occurs during the initial processing of a stimulus or event maturation and experience influence this process in terms of maturation demster 1981 suggests that the adult capacity for short term memory of 5 plus 2 digits might be as much as 2 digits lower for children aged 5 and 1 digit for children aged 9 as for experience in a series of well known studies of expertise novices remember new information less well than experts one of the most important differences between novices and experts is the structure and organization of domain specific knowledge let's discuss structuring and organizing structuring and organizing information occur as the learner processes and stores information the learner's ability changes over time as a result of both maturation and experience when presented with information they are asked to remember younger children do not rehearse information in order to remember it as they get into school they begin to develop or are taught various strategies at first these strategies are only used when prompted by someone else but as the child becomes more competent in their use and uses them more frequently the child will increasingly use the strategies spontaneously
वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट इंफॉर्मेशन प्रोसेसिंग कैपेसिटीज अ चाइल्ड डेवलप्स इज द अबिलिटी टू ऑर्गेनाइज इंफॉर्मेशन दिस इज इन टर्न इन्फ्लुएंस बाय द चाइल्ड्स अबिलिटी टू कैटेगराइज एज इज द केस विथ अदर इंफॉर्मेशन प्रोसेसिंग कैपेसिटीज दिस अबिलिटी चेंजेस विथ बोथ मैचुरेशन एंड एक्सपीरियंस one of the basic types of categorization is the grouping of specific events ideas people things etc into concepts roche and his colleagues demonstrated two fundamental features to the development of concepts that is the ease of identifying similarities of members of the concept and distinguishing differences between members that are not For example the development of the concept of animal would be more difficult than developing the concept of dog or cat because it would be easier to identify similarities among dogs or cats and differences between cats and dogs than it would be to identify similarities among all animals or to differentiate all animals from all plants this has important implications as we design learning activities for children and youth that can help them develop their organizational and storage capacities let's discuss storage and retrieval how much information can be stored and retrieved relative to a stimulus or event also changes over time for example prior to about age 7 months an infant will not seek an object that has been shown and then removed from view the infant has encoded the object such as a rattle and will reach for it but seems to lose interest as soon as it is no longer in view at about 7 months attains what is called object permanence and will begin to seek the object if it is removed from view a series of studies by boyer mendler and associates demonstrates a child's increasing ability to perform simple multiple act sequences by age 13 months infants can reproduce three act sequences by age 24 months this has increased to five act sequences and by age 30 months to eight separate actions as children gain language skills their ability to store and recall more complex events increases This is shown first in autobiographical accounts of daily activities and then to events they may have witnessed or heard about. Here are four observations about strategy development. Number 1, strategy development is not linear. When developing any particular strategy, development will often stall or even regress before it becomes systematically and correctly used. Number 2 a strategy will continue to develop after it is first demonstrated in its mature form this continued development may take months or even years number 3 children show considerable variability in their use of strategies children often go back and forth in their use of strategies changing strategies even after they have been found to work well and number 4 children differ in their abilities to integrate different strategies into a coherent pattern for successful learning children must be given ample opportunity to create successful learning programs that work for them